Okay, what you're looking at here is the Renz Combinet comb binding machine. Basically what this does is it punches rectangular shaped holes through paper um, and after you've punched as many sheets as you want to, up to two inches on this particular machine, you can insert the comb through the holes and have a professionally bound document. One nice thing about the comb binding machines is that the combs are relatively inexpensive and they can be used over and over again. Another nice thing is that you can reopen the combs and insert additional sheets of paper if needed. And I'll show you how to do that here in just a minute. And I'd like to take you through this machine and show you exactly what every component on this machine does. And hopefully by the end of this video demonstration, you'll be able to pull a combinet, combining machine out of the box, set it up, and use it yourself. I'd like to just point out a few features. Um, at first, it may look a little bit complicated, but this machine is very easy to use. Um, essentially what happens is the paper is loaded in here where it is punched, a comb binding, a plastic comb binding element is placed right here where it is then opened and closed. Um, if you look at the front of this machine, you'll notice that there's a guide right here. Now because this machine's German made, everything's metric. But this is basically showing you the maximum amount of paper that this can bind, and that's 52 millimeters, or 5.2 centimeters. Um, if you convert that over, it's two inches of paper. And that's just to kind of help you know exactly how many sheets of paper you've got, and what size binding element you might need to bind that document. On the front here, You'll notice that there are different diameters of holes, and this is just basically letting you know that after, as you loosen this up, the farther over you slide it, the larger a binding element you can use. The farther to the right you slide it, the smaller. And you'll notice that as I pull this right now, I can't really open that up very far, but if I bring it all the way over, tighten that up, I can open that up quite a bit. Okay, and the reason that they've got it set up that way is so that if you're putting on a smaller comb, you won't accidentally overshoot that. Now, because of the size of comb I'm using right now, I'm going to want to make that and adjust that probably about to the middle here. I can set that on here now. And when I open that up, I'm pulling that down all the way and that's not going to fly off. Okay, if you're punching paper, the combing net has got a guide here to let you know exactly where those holes are going to be punched. Now I'll put some sheets of paper in there right now. And it's what's known as a vertical load. And the nice thing about that is it almost jogs the paper. Because when you drop that in, gravity kind of pulls all the papers to one end so that when you punch through that paper, it punches through evenly. Some machines will notice going this way, and sometimes the paper can be punched crooked, or the papers aren't all lined up. So I'm going to put that in here. Now, if for some reason the holes were not lining up, you can actually adjust this. There's a knob on the back, and you can slide this back and forth along this. So I'm going to insert that paper. Now I'm just going to, I'm now just going to pull down this arm. It's punched through the paper. you can see that it's punched up exactly where that guide said it was going to. Now if you're going to be punching a larger book, obviously you're going to have to make some more passes. So I'm going to punch a few sheets of paper here. You're going to want to look at the specifications and make sure you're not punching more sheets of paper than this machine can do. This particular machine is pretty heavy duty and it can actually punch up to 25 sheets of paper at a time, which is quite a few. Now when you're binding a booklet, especially if you're creating a report of some sort, it's often ideal to have some kind of a cover sheet. In this case, I'm going to use a clear cover. And it's nice to have some kind of a back end sheet. In this case, I'm going to use some cover stock.
And if you look at the back of this machine, you can actually see where that paper, punch paper goes. There's a little catch tray back here that captures that. And it takes quite a while to fill that up, but once it's filled up, you can just pull it out, empty it in the garbage can, and slide that back in. And now that I've got all of my paper punched, I'm going to want to put a comb binding element right here. So I'm going to open that up. Again, make sure to adjust it so that it doesn't over open or doesn't open too little. Then you want to take your paper, make sure it's jogged properly and that all the holes line up. Set it in there into the first few holes, pull it back, and then let up on the handle and it closes the comb for you. There you go, the finished product. Now some people like to add additional sheets of paper. In that case, you can easily just put it back on here, open that up, and you can take off however many sheets you want to. You could add some additional sheets or just leave it like that, close it back up, and you're good to go.